Okay, greetings class. Um, I got a couple questions on how um, to post the message and, and how to navigate in, in Moodle. Um, Chris, for some of you, this is your first class, so I've logged into the course. Um, as you can see here, I can scroll up and down. I can use the right side to click on topics or lessons. So I can click here. I can click on lesson one, discussion one, um, and then lesson one, discussion one comes up. Um, in, in this particular case, I can just click on add a new discussion and the, the items that I wanted to respond to are right here, right? It's telling me here's my discussion, right? When I'm, when I'm making my main post, I have to address these items, okay? I want to address the things that are being asked of me. Um, and I want to not only provide opinion, but sometimes provide some sort of source, right? Um, so you're not going to plagiarize. Um, if you get something from another source, you need to list your reference at the bottom of it. Um, but you simply type, you know, your discussion here, new computer. You type your message in here, right? I will look for punctuation, capitalization, grammar. Um, once you're done answering these questions, and you're not just saying yes, no, I would buy this operating system. It's a discussion, so I'm looking for 100 to 150 words. I'm looking for items that you've taken away from the SimNet book um, or other resources, and I'm looking for um, references. Once you type it in, you scroll down to the bottom, and then you post to the forum, and then your main post comes up. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. Um, and then here is the list of people that have posted. If I want to reply to someone, I simply click on their um, topic and I click reply and I type my reply. When I type a reply, I want to ask, I want to add, I want to acknowledge. Um, I don't want to say you've provided some good information because I want to know what information was given. I want to make sure that you are understanding the discussion and you're adding something to that discussion. Um, so I don't want to see great posts, good information. I don't want to see um, generic replies, right? I want to see some things that, that you pulled from that and you've add to, such as, you know, um, Matthew here talks about hard drive, RAM, graphics cards, processors. Maybe um, you want to know how much RAM is, is good enough for a computer, um, eight, eight gigs, four gigs. What's the average RAM in a computer now? Um, and, and, you know, I'm not singling out Matthew here because he does list some of those things. But you should, and, and he does answer the RAM, but you should provide um, some information in your reply and not just uh, generic replies. So that's discussion and replies. I'm going to go back. And these are called breadcrumbs up here. I could simply click back a breadcrumb and I'm back into the course, okay? Um, in the instructor announcements, um, in lesson deliverables, I have um, some information there. The due dates, make sure that you always take a look at those, uh, those deliverables. Um, they have videos in there. I have a video on how to do SimNet on YouTube. Um, so I'm providing videos. I'm providing uh, information um, that's very useful in the course. Um, so we're going to go back by clicking that breadcrumb. Um, we also have, if say we don't know how to do a, a um, reference in APA format, we have the resource center here. And in that resource center, it talks about uh, plagiarism. It talks about um, writing. So we can click on the writing center. It talks about how, how we're supposed to do our uh, assignments. If we had written assignments, it tells us how to do uh, references um, in APA format. And it gives us some other areas that we can go to. The Resource Center is very good. Um, you can also sign up for tutoring if you need tutoring um, by clicking that button here. So we're going to go back to this course. Um, and sometimes it does take a minute, so I'm going to go to um, Home and click back in my course. Um, so, right, we've also got SimNet. To go to SimNet, we simply click on SimNet. It automatically passes us through into our SimNet course, okay? Um, you're not gonna see this view, you'll see the student view. 
and there's uh, items that you need to do in SimNet. Um, back to Moodle messages. Um, starting in lesson three, we have assignments. To do an assignment, you click on the assignment. Um, it has the directions here, so you just simply open that assignment. This is a Microsoft Word assignment, so your submission needs to be in Microsoft Word. Um, so when you upload your assignment, you'll see something similar to, um, and this is a, a bad area, but I'll show you here. You'll see something similar to um, this where you can upload your assignment. Um, so make sure that you upload your assignment in the assignment area. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't provide anything more because I don't have the same view, but you'll have something similar to this where you'll have add file and you could add a file and you upload your assignment file. We're going to go back by pressing that breadcrumb. Yes, we want to leave it. Um, and then, you know, course introduction here. If you have questions, you, you can post them in Partly Cloudy. It's the same concept as the message. You just add a new topic and you type your topic. Okay? Make sure that you take a look at all those instructor announcements. In these instructor announcements, each week, I'm going to post some items that are, are, are prevalent to the lesson, right? Um, you know, I'll, I'll post some information that's helpful. Um, and, and so just keep up with this, okay? All right. Good luck to you, class. Thanks.